Hello, welcome to the weather update. It is the 6th of January and we are looking at our first snowfall, our first actual snowfall of over an inch uh, occurring in about, I would say, 12 hours or so. Most of it should be done. Uh, but uh, you can see clouds were a big thing today. A lot of clouds around, a little bit of sun, but a lot of clouds and uh, near average temperatures, I guess you could say, uh, before we get to the storm. Uh, you'll notice the temperatures here generally in the mid-30s. Well, dropping off a little bit, 28 at Islip, 32 at, uh, no, 28 at West Hampton, 32 at Islip. Uh, if we look at the highs briefly, uh, we'll go look at the highs just on this. And you will see we got up to 41. This is your high temperature. So near, near average temperatures today. Um, and the winds were light from the west. Now they're starting to come more northerly and eat northeasterly. As the storm approaches, you'll notice the different colors here. Uh, and, of course, those different colors uh, mean different things. I think this is a winter storm warning for Suffolk County. Uh, and we have a winter weather advisory uh, for Nassau County. So I don't know why they went with the winter storm warning for Suffolk. Look at the models. I think it might be a little over the top. Uh, but it's going to be from 10 to 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. for New Jersey. And for Suffolk County, it's going to be from tonight till noon. Uh, uh, for Friday. Uh, for the rest of us, we have a winter weather advisory in effect, and that is midnight tonight till noon on Friday. All right. Uh, looking at the current radar, you'll see some light snow breaking out already in uh, parts of northern New Jersey, and as you go into southern central Pennsylvania, you'll see some heavier uh, snow. Nothing really very heavy here. I mean, um, I don't see any very heavy snow here, uh, but there is, you know, uh, accumulating snow falling right now over these areas right now. And uh, that will be moving into our area uh, as we move into later into the evening and into the nighttime. So let's uh, into the morning, I should say. Uh, let's uh, look at the I think we already looked at the satellite. You can see it's a satellite. Plenty of clouds, obviously, uh, overriding from the storm system that is approaching us. Uh, so let's uh, focus on our, our storm system here uh, and we'll go to look at the northeast. So here is the GFS. We start off with the GFS. You see that low right there? So it looks pretty weak. But when it gets offshore, it's going to intensify. So that's why I think maybe further east. That's probably why they went the reasoning with the winter storm warning for Suffolk County. And the, and the thing is, I think the further east you go, the more snow you're going to get. Um, because that's closer to the intensifying storm. See, it's kind of weak. Uh, but then once it gets out over the ocean, warmer water, more energy for the storm, uh, it will it will deepen and strengthen and pull in more moisture. And you'll see here that we'll have that snow. Uh, this is the GFS again, though not a very high resolution model. Uh, but we can look at the total snowfall uh, it gives us. And it, had gives, it, it seems to have now all agreed on a range from three to around five, maybe six inches. Uh, in in uh, much of Long Island and then a little more as you head into New England. This is, again, the GFS, a lower resolution model. If we look at the total liquid accumulation here is the total actual pre precipitation that will accumulate. It's around 0.5 inch, a half an inch of rain. So half an inch of liquid uh, generally means about five inches of snow, um, generally speaking. All right. So let me go back to the precip uh, simulation and we'll now look at the HRRR. Zero Z run. All right, off to the H triple R. So get this is a higher resolution model, a better model to use. So here's your low, looking kind of weak, but then once it gets out over the ocean, it's going to deepen. All right, so it's going to deepen. Uh, after midnight, you'll see the things start emerging, again close to no, uh, close to the coast and off the coast. And once it does, it's going to deepen and strengthen a little bit, and that's going to bring in some more heavier snows. Uh, I wouldn't say heavy snow, but I think you're going to get some moderate snows. Uh, Jersey Shore up into Suffolk County, uh, and that will last from, like, I would say, it starts off light after midnight, uh, and then it probably gets heavier around 3, 4 in the morning, uh, and that's going to last until around uh, 8, 8 o'clock. Then it'll be light snow, and then it'll taper off in the morning, and there's your low pulling away. Uh, let's look at the total accumulating precip on the, the, uh, on the HRRR, not giving quite as much uh, uh, a total accumulated precip. Let's look at the total snowfall here, and you will see it's right around that five-inch mark. Uh, uh, so figure that three to five-inch mark is what we're looking at right now for much of Long Island. A moderate snowfall, nothing too, nothing too heavy. Uh, it'll be a moderate snowfall. It's moving fast, but it's going to be coming down enough that it'll be steady enough 
uh, for at least the time in the early morning hours that I think that's when we'll see our best shots of accumulation. So you see lots of fours and some twos, but there could be some isolated five or six inch amounts as well. Uh, and it pretty much paints it all across the entire um, from, from I would say, central, from the Jersey Shore through New York City, Long Island into Connecticut. Um, but I still think that heavier batch, it's going to wind up being a little bit of a heavier enhanced snow probably over eastern parts of Suffolk County. I think that's where your higher amounts could wind up being. All right. Uh, let's go to another model now. Let's go to the NAM. And we'll use the higher resolution NAM this time. We have the Zero Z NAM, which we can use. So this is the higher resolution NAM. Uh, and this will kind of show you what's going to happen. So you can see, look at where the darker blues line up. Uh, they seem to be mostly over eastern Suffolk County there. And it snows for a little longer there. So that's why I'm thinking they'll be a little more out that way. But it is a fast mover. It will be out of here pretty quickly. Uh, let's look at the total accumulated uh, total accumulated precip first of all. All right, and you can extrapolate how much snow you're going to get from that. Um, that's why I think the winter storm warning is a little excessive because I don't really see many areas getting over six, which is generally the criteria for a winter storm warning. I think we're going to be more in that three to five inch range uh, for much of our area, maybe a little more out east. Maybe there'll be some isolated six inch amounts. I think the best chance is going to be New England, though. Uh, probably see closer to that six to eight inch amount there in Boston, probably according to this uh, model right here. So uh, let's uh, go back to the HRRR and let's look at our temperatures. Obviously, it will be below freezing, so we will be have it be plenty cold enough uh, to get some snow. All right. Uh, so obviously, we're going to be below freezing tonight, dropping into the 20s and staying there probably uh, upper 20s, and we're going to be staying there in the upper 20s, maybe touching 30 in the afternoon tomorrow. And then we drop back below freezing cold night, lows probably in the teens. And then Saturday uh, will be a day with sunshine, but it will be cold, especially with the snow on the ground. Should keep temperatures in the uh, mid to upper 20s. That's right. I think that's uh, we're not even going to hit 30 on Saturday. So it'll be a nice cold day. You look at the airflow. It's going to be from the north. Uh, well, it's going to be from the, it'll be going west, uh, westerly a little later in the after, in the day, but in the morning it's going to be northwesterly. And then you get that northwest flow for tomorrow afternoon. You can clearly see the storm here and the reflection of the storm right there. Uh, and that wind going east to the northeast, which is a definitely a good direction for a snow event for us. All right. Uh, so let's go back to the... GFS, and we'll just take a quick look at the temperatures for next week, and then uh, we'll look at the skies. So once the storm passes, and it's not going to be a terrible storm, but again, it's going to be very cold tomorrow night and Saturday morning. You're going to be in the teens. It's gonna, Saturday is going to be nice and cold, uh, and you can see there, GFS keeping us cold. Uh, but then you'll see some moderation on Sunday, possibly some 40s trying to work into the area. But then that gets suppressed by the next cold front Monday morning. And we are dropping back down to the 20s. And then some really cold air comes in for next Tuesday where we might not make it out. We may not even make it out of the teens. So that's some really cold air right there. Uh, so, But I don't really want to focus too much on the long range. But the point is that after the snow, it's generally going to be below normal except for that one day Sunday, which will be a little milder. Uh, that's going to be it. So let's uh, look at the RGM model, which I'm not going to use for the snow, but we'll use for the sky. All right, so... Obviously, uh, we'll have the clouds to start, but we might see some sun trying to break out uh, around noon, perhaps uh, some passing clouds and sun and breezy. All right. And then uh, for a Saturday should be a clear day. We should finally get our clear day on Saturday. Finally, a nice clear day for Saturday and then more clouds roll in for Sunday with this next cold front. All right. Uh, we can also use the NAM as well. So here's the NAM, uh, and you'll see a similar idea that I think we're going to see some sun in the afternoon tomorrow. Uh, and then uh, for Saturday, we should have a mostly sunny day. Again, this is the Zero Z NAM. Uh, if I want to go a little further, then i got to roll it back to the 18Z. But you can see a clear sky for Saturday. Finally, we'll get some sunshine uh, and snow on the ground, and hopefully get to the pines. Hopefully it's been like almost two weeks now, uh, so it's way too long way way too long all right let me just look at one more model and that is the ventus guy and we're just going to look at the wind for tomorrow we're just using this to look at the wind gusts for tomorrow as well uh, because it could get a little breezy so here are your wind gusts here's 11 o'clock 
I think wing gust to 25. Doesn't look like it's really that bad, uh, but it does get killed. Just to show you, the winds do pick up toward the afternoon, so you're going to be feeling those wind chills into the evening. Uh, definitely be feeling those wind chills into the evening. You can see that with the wind gusts there, uh, gusting up to 30. So with temperatures dropping at 20s, it's going to feel like the teens and the single digits uh, once we get done. And we can also go and look at the snow cover simulation here on this, uh, which only has us around 1 to 2 inches of snow generally. So it won't be it won't be a lot of snow on the ground probably. It probably will not be. Uh, but it'll be enough to make things look nice without being too much... It'll be a little slippery in the morning, but I don't think it'll be all that bad. Uh, but, uh, you know, enough to hopefully make those Christmas lights look pretty and uh, make things look a little more wintry out there compared to the way it's been. Uh, so I think that's going to wrap up this weather update. Take care. And thanks for watching.